going to do five treats and then we're going to take a break. Gotcha. Okay, we're going to do five treats and then we're going to take a break. Or, but vary it. Don't do five every time because they'll totally pick up on that. So you do five one time, six one time, four one time, two one time, you know, so you, yeah. so you make it as random as possible. You did so good today. Did you good? You did so good. Um, so what, you know, this, this week we spent a lot of time just getting her to go on this map. Yes. Um, now you're going to put down the second map. Is, I was going to ask, what is, the, what is the thing that we should spend the bulk of our time working on? You should pack your snow box. Okay. See how high you can get her. She'll come off her feet and block your nose. Because okay. you'll be walking along and suddenly there'll be a trigger coming and you'll go, nose block. And, and she'll do that. And she'll do that instead okay. of be about barking at something okay. that's a trigger. So you want to, the way you're going to do, it's okay, you can leave that. The way you're going to do it, because she's not going to do anything. I'm just going to show you the cycle and then you'll, you'll have it there. And we'll just use these as the two mats you're using. And she'll be on the one and you treat, treat, treat. And then you bring her off to a neutral position, give her a treat, and then you walk over to this one. She comes to this one, you treat, 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 okay. and then bring her off to a neutral position. Bring her off the mat to a neutral position. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You're just nervous about that chair. And then you don't say anything, you just come over here and stand at this end. <coughs> she comes, treat, 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 then get it. And take both of them up. Okay. And then a little bit later, give her a break. And then you come over to this mat, she should come to this mat. If she goes to that mat, that's not a reward, unless you're at that mat. So, this is the mat we're working on, treat, treat, treat. Bring her out to a neutral position. And go over, don't say anything, just go over to this mat. Come, treat, treat, treat. Neutral position. Okay. So the mat, the mat is more about, um, here I'm gonna give you these digits because I think they'll be gersing here before I take away. Um, I get them out. So the idea of the mat though is um, getting, her to a place that we can work around her, or to get her to, like for example, when this, when we're when we've all succeeded, that's all of those. When we've succeeded with the mat thing, and she can go to the mat, is the point to be able to have a mat in the house that we can tell her to go to, or is the point to have her understand that where she should be in relation to us? The mat is both of those things. Okay. And the mat is something that you'll get like a yoga mat, and you'll put her on the boat. And she'll stay in the And, and that, that's where she's to okay. be, you know, while you're going in and while you're going out. Um, the mat is going to be a place that is going to be her place where she can go. And she can, here's what starts to happen. is they start going to the mat because they're looking for attention, they want to train. And then it becomes who's training who, you know? I mean, they're... Yeah. they're that's the beauty of the mat, and then everything comes down to the mat. So you're having grooming problems, you're having something like that, it goes right back to the mat. You're having trouble getting them into her um, life jacket, it goes right back to the mat. You teach her to love the life jacket. It's, okay. This is a concept that takes you to everything you're going to do with your dog. So when, she's, when this is down, though, and... Um, she does what she did today and she lays down on it. Do I continue to reward her until I get her off the mat? No. Or do I leave her alone? If she wants to just lay on the mat, let her lay on the mat. Just let her lay on the mat. If she okay. wants to just lay on the mat, that's absolutely fine. That's getting direct. And every once in a while, you go over and you reward it. You don't constantly reward it. Yeah. You let her lay on that mat. 
yeah. you know, five minutes go by. Go back over and lay on the, and uh, give her a reward, or one minute goes by. Okay. Just reward her for the behavior that you want. Okay. So, and that's the behavior that you want. That's a, a right behavior. So you're going to reward that. But you don't have to constantly reward that. Okay. And the more duration you can get, the better it gets. Because we're going to be looking for duration. One of the things that we're going to be doing down the line is we're going to be teaching um, delayed reinforcement. So one of the things is I, you're going to take a food bullet. The, you're going to name the mat, so you're going to tell the dog to go to the mat when we get there. And then you're going to put this food bowl down. And the dog is welcome to go to the food bowl. It's empty as many times as it wants. Yeah. And then one time, when it's on the mat and being, you know, on the mat and quiet, you're going to drop something in that football. And you're going to give a cue for them to go get it. And then you're going to have a time where you're going to do that for a while, and then you're going to have another game that you play with the dog where you put the food bowl down and you drop food in it. Okay. And then you get a cue for them to go. So, and then there'll be a game between you and Kelly where you have, we call this a cookie jar. You have something plastic, you know, that mm -hmm. you take treats out of all the time. And uh, the cookie jar, the cookie jar goes here, and you're there with the dog, and I'm here, and you release the dog. The dog should come to me. I'll call the dog. The dog should come to me. But if the dog goes to the cookie jar, the dog goes to the cookie jar. But what we're teaching it, but the minute it comes to me, we go, yes, cookie jar. And then we go over and we reinforce that it came I to see. us. Okay. okay. So it just goes, I mean, these games are innumerable and they keep on going on and on and on and on. And what you're teaching is you're teaching the dog um, that it can have uh, delayed reinforcement. You're teaching it impulse control. And believe me, impulse control is going to be a big thing in your life. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll, we're going to get this dog to a certain point and uh, and then we're just going to start, I mean, if we do another four weeks after this, yep. we're going to just start um, the Canine Good Citizenship track. That's really what I want to get to. I have someone that will test for that. Okay, good. But we have to get the dog, but first I've got to get your skills up, yep. got to get you understanding the training cycle. The dog understanding, that, and the dog needs to be just a little bit older. I would probably have, have at six months, she could probably pass a good citizenship. That soon, you think? Yeah. At six months? That's awesome. Like, from where she is now, do you think she could pass good citizens in six months? I think if you guys work with her, I think she could. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Absolutely. It, it's about the consistency that you're going to have, you know, and working her in the time. Look, right now, she she wakes up at 6 a.m. My son comes downstairs at 6.30. From 6 to 6.30, before breakfast, before anything else, she has that time for training. Now, she won't train for the whole 30 minutes, but there's always that time. Mm -hmm. Then, there's a time right before dinner when we go through training as well. And then, in the evening, when she gets to that 9 o'clock cycle, we have another time for training. And we're not training like... For 45 minutes, but it's like no, no, 10 minutes for a minute. Minutes here. Yeah. It's uh, better to do three one minute trainings than one 30 minute training. Good, 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 good. No, that you, you and especially, uh, you don't want to over train this dog, and uh, you don't want the dog getting bored of training. Mm -hmm. You know, you want them to be quick, fast, and if you did a minute, and then Kelly did a minute, yep. and then your son did a minute, and then you wait till the evening hour. And then everybody, you know, gets a minute sometime in there. 
and or somebody, two people get a minute, and then at the nine o'clock hour, or whatever hour, the evening hour. But that's perfect. I mean, 30 minutes, 30 seconds to an hour is perfectly fine. Okay. You're going to need more than that. Okay. Okay. 30 seconds to a minute. What did I say? Oh, 30 seconds to a, a minute all is all she needs, especially as young as she is right now. So, I'm going to open up for you. Okay. All right. Okay, Elise, thank you. We'll see you we'll see next Thursday. It'll be just my wife next day. Okay. So two of these four weeks is going to be, well, I guess one of the both of us. Um, this one will be me, and the other one will probably be just Kelly. Okay. The word is she sitting here. So she's in the back. Or she's got a, she's got a uh, setup down here, huh? Yeah, you do. Oh, no. Building going. Oh, for the backyard? Uh -huh. So I, I actually, I'm going to talk to the guy now. He's coming to put the door in. He, he was going to put it in last week, but we found out we didn't have a wall insert. Uh, so mm -hmm. the other wall insert is going to do that. He's bringing the supplies for the fence. I'm going to put it in um, this, this weekend. I've already started moving some of the rock to the backyard. What's really great is she thinks it's fun to walk through the screen and um, well, we put big river stone up around at the perimeter, and she no longer walks through the street. So that kind of solved that problem. Oh, that's wonderful. When we get the when we get the <laughs> fence up, she'll be able to go out um, into a safe area that we can kind of keep uh, keep her in. Perfect. Uh, on our own. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, we should. Another week or two. All right. Thank you so much. Man. You're more than welcome, Craig. It's we'll fun. See you next time. Yeah. Give her a little more variety. So pro, turn off. 